Hormones. Every woman's got them. Every man complains about them. And every woman is terrified of hormone treatments. We use hormone treatments all the time in fertility. We need hormones to grow eggs. We need eggs to make babies. Frequently, we start with hormone pills. Frequently, people have heard about a pill called Clomid or Clomiphene citrate. It is used and abused all the time by gynecologists and fertility doctors. Clomiphene citrate was designed to help people ovulate, and it does a pretty good job of that. When women don't ovulate and they're given Clomid, about 80% ovulate, only about 50% will get pregnant. So for the 50% who don't get pregnant using Clomid and the 20% that didn't ovulate with Clomid, we have to use something else. We have a new pill on the market. It's called Letrozole. It's in the family of what we call aromatase inhibitors. Aromatase inhibitors were designed to treat breast cancer. So when you get Letrozole, it's going to say it's for treatment of breast cancer. It's going to be called a chemotherapy. It's not a chemotherapy the way you're scared of chemotherapy. It just means it's a pill. Letrozole helps people ovulate. You take it for five days, just like you do clomiphene citrate. And it works better than clomiphene citrate. It's out of your system faster than clomiphene citrate. Letrozole is starting to replace clomiphene citrate as the first line drug for anovulation. Hormone injections, the dreaded hormone injections. Hormone injections used to be really scary. You used to have to use really big needles and shoot them in your butt. Ouch. They've changed. They now design them in the laboratory. They now are purified, and they're really more like giving yourself insulin shots. Little teeny needles. Most of the time, friends or family give you the shots, but if you really had to take it yourself, you can. They're not that scary. In the past, there was a lot of mixing involved. The hormones came in powder form, and you had to play chemistry kit, mixing the water and the powder. And we still do that with some of the medicines we use. But many of the medicines now are pre-prepared. They're pure liquid, there's less mixing, and there's a whole lot less anxiety when you take them. Most people tolerate hormone medicines with ease. Clomiphene citrate definitely has some side effects that people complain about. I hear complaints about hot flashes, sensitivity to light, headaches, uh, mood changes, just an all about bloated, crummy, yucky feeling. Letrozole seems to be more well tolerated. What most women complain about is the effects of the egg growth. So if you're taking fertility shots, you're often making more than one egg. In a natural cycle, your estrogen peaks around two to 300. If you're taking fertility injections, you may get three or four eggs. Your estrogen may be 1200. If you're taking fertility shots for in vitro fertilization, your estrogen may peak at 2,000, 3,000, I've seen 10,000. Guess what? You might have symptoms then from the estrogen. You might have symptoms from the ovaries being three times as big as they were before. You might feel bloated. You might retain water. Most women hate that, but it's all reversible and it's all for a good cause. These fertility medicines work. They help you get pregnant. You can sometimes feel quite uncomfortable with these medicines, but that is usually temporary and the symptoms usually go away with time.